right, so Rowdy is in the truck. We're letting him drive it out. Notice there's no drive shafts or steering, so. Hey, we're gonna pull you over into this other bay, okay? I don't know if the truck's gonna make it out. I might have to use come along to pull down the rear end, but. Hey, you gotta drive, man. All right, Alexis, you ready? I am making a the crossbar for the steering. I've also got these fancy steering cylinders from Overtime CNC. Keep over there hooking it up. And he also built me a plate to go on the back of the transfer case so that my five ton flange could seal up against the two wheel drive disconnect. I guess that's the front of the transfer case. Anyway, so. I'm fixing to mount that up in the frame. So we've got the truck sitting in here in the shop on jack stands. It's extended a lot higher than the suspension will normally sit, but it's still seven inches lower than what the truck will be whenever it's on the right tires. I did that so that when we build the steps, it's as close as I can get it to the right height so that when the steps come down, I can try to fabricate those correctly. <laughs> hey, looks pretty good. You didn't want to do this side again? So funny thing about these rams, the engine and transmission is like four inches to the passenger side. Maybe not quite four inches, but uh, every bit of it. You think every bit of it? I think every bit of it. Well, so the transfer case, oh, yeah, every bit of it. the transfer case will be sitting in here crooked, purposely. Twenty and a half over here, so oh, four and a half wow. inches. All right. Four and a half inches. That's why I said every bit of it. <laughs> so. I like it. Let's tack this stuff in. The transfer case actually does need to come further forward. But you can't come further forward right now. You come further forward, this is going to drop and then you can pull that. That's where the. the I mean, bar is I, be. I like it where it is. I just want to get it, make sure that it's level, which that's easy. And then um, it'll just have the drive shaft in the front will be. A couple inches longer than the drive shaft in the back. All right, so we finally tinkering on this thing again. I am bending my steps and measuring up from a drive line. Got the transfer case tacked in there. And as soon as I get some more drive shaft material and some more flanges and whatnot, I will be finishing the drive shafts I gotta get the brakes I gotta get hydraulic hose still need a bunch of little shit but we close Check it out. Not done, still gotta weld everything out and I gotta put the bars through the middle, but that is awesome. You gotta be careful because this thing will knock your teeth out. But 
Man, that is looking really good. Still gotta get a plate or some expanded metal for the top, but overall, I am very happy with the way this is turning out. I made the step kind of short. Notice I got the tires turned, front and rear. I measured out and marked it on the concrete how far back the tire will be if I'm full lock. I don't know that I will be able to be at full lock and let the step up and down, but I could be turned quite a bit because that would really suck that every time you stop, have to straighten the tires just to get it to let the steps down. So not too shabby. I'm very excited about this. All that good stuff. So the only thing really to know about this is the angle of these two holes, the pivot points, need to be the exact same as it is on the top. Otherwise, as it goes up and down, it'll it'll camber or lean one way or the other. So as long as you get the pivot points the same on both ends, it'll go up and down and stay level. So we get started. Well, the phone died right before I started wrestling this thing to put together. I wish it wouldn't have though, because that would have been highly amusing watching me hold this thing with my teeth. But now I just gotta put the brace in the middle that'll hold it all square and possibly adjust it a little bit, but Man, that's pretty nice. Still gotta weld out the brackets. And I welded out the four link and the steps bracket and the step. So really the only thing I got left to weld is the two brackets on the chassis. All right, well, I got it all welded out. Except for the uh, piece down here so that it's adjustable once I get my hydraulic cylinders. I'll put that where it needs to be. But I got the steps welded out. All welded out. Now time to get some more parts. I called Keith at Overtime CNC. He said, measure, see how long I want my steps cylinders to be and he'll make them for me. And just gotta go over there, get them and get the rest of my drive shaft pieces and my brakes hydraulic steering, all that good stuff, and this thing will be done. Well, I gotta paint it too, but. Hell yeah. What have I started here? I have done, stumbled across something I couldn't turn down, and now, for some idiotic reason, I'm trying to put how many speakers in this truck? 30, oh, 32. Oh my God. 32. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so add this to the list i already am cutting it close to try to make it to iron horse but now we gotta throw audio in the mix too <laughs> well here we go